Canada and the U.S. have reached an agreement to allow for the use of American technology for space launches in Canada. The agreement does not come into force until it is reviewed by both countries, but Ottawa says it will help expand Canada's space sector. It will also help space startup Maritime Launch. The company has been given the green light to build Canada's only commercial spaceport in Nova Scotia. It says the agreement is a critical step in creating a thriving space industry. And joining, joining us now is Steve Mattier, the CEO of Maritime Launch. Steve, thanks very much for joining us. Very much my pleasure. Thank you. Why uh, get a launch pad going here in Canada? Aren't there launch pads around the world? There are a number around the world, but there are some real keys to uh, the location of them to uh, that, that matter to the satellite clients. Uh, for example, launching uh, from Florida Space Coast, you can go easterly. Launching from Alaska, you can go south, uh, but you can't go west. And, and so the uniqueness of that location in Nova Scotia that we have set up and, and underway is that it gives a really broad range of uh, places to put these satellites into orbit. It is really unique in that fashion. And how important is this deal for you then? Oh, it's massive for us to access to market. The, the the space economy in 2023, by one report, was $630 billion. And it's growing to $1.5 trillion in the next 10 years. The idea being that all these satellites are sitting on the ground, have to be delivered to orbit. All the launch sites in, in the U.S. are at a max launch tempo right now. So there's a real demand for it. There's also a need for uh, some additional resilience if there is a, a spaceport that goes offline in, in North America as well. So we're really sitting in the right spot uh, to be able to access that market. And how many launches do you think you'll be doing and when do you hope to start launching? Uh, well, we did a suborbital launch last year, which is a great exercise for the team and working with the federal government, Transport Canada, NAV Canada, all the regulatory bodies. And we'll do another suborbital one later this year. But we'll be looking to really flesh out the facility uh, with some uh, additional uh, support infrastructure for these launch clients and get that launch off uh, beginning in 2026. And what will this spaceport, what's it going to look like? I mean, is there going to be a concrete pad somewhere or is this going to be a fairly complex setup with quite a few people employed? Well, that's really a great question. There will be a lot of people employed, but it is not going to be the Kennedy Space Center kind of massive uh, facilities that NASA has built back in the 60s. The spaceport of the future is much more compact. Uh, the launch vehicles require a lot less. It's really about providing the services for satellite uh, processing and preparation, a uh, launch control center, those kinds of things. But, you know, for an example, one company recently actually did uh, a, a launch control from a laptop at a Starbucks in California. So, I mean, the <laughs> idea that the idea that you need all this math, massive infrastructure is definitely different. And, and <laughs> sorry, I'm just visualizing some guy sitting at a Starbucks and they, oh, what are you yeah. playing a video game? Yeah, that's what we're doing right yeah. now. Uh, and, yeah. and, and, <laughs> and whereabouts is it going to be located again within Nova Scotia? Um, well, we're on the main peninsula of Nova Scotia. Uh, before you get to Cape Breton Island, you, you, you turn east and head out to uh, the little town of Canso, Nova Scotia. And it's south of Canso on uh, uh, some uh, crown land that we've leased for 40 years. Okay, so on the south shore there. Right. Close to well, it. they call it the Eastern Shore. Oh, the Eastern Shore. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, see, I appreciate it. And uh, good luck with all this. And do you expect to see more, uh, more of them opening across Canada? Or, or is this kind of a limited audience on what we can do here? It is really about finding that location. It's you know, ground safety, launch safety, you know, the, the social license, working with the community, the Bakkenkeck, the municipal government, the provincial government. There's so much that goes into it. It's not something that somebody can spin up overnight. So um, I spent a lot of time researching and trying to find a place in North America a few years ago when we got this initiative underway. And, and I looked at about 15 different locations from, from Mexico to uh, you know, the tip of Canada. And this really did uh, settle down as, as the best location. Okay, Steve, thanks very much for joining us today. Good luck with it. Thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity. Steve Mattier is the CEO of Maritime Launch.